everybody, welcome to the start of a potential series called Dialed In. It's basically where we take copies from all across the country, like this one, and uh, check them out, see, review them, see how we like them. It's, it's pretty simple, it's nothing too complicated. Today we've actually got a carbonic macerated Tanzanian Nguro Nguro, it's from the Vahora family. Uh, it's actually interesting, carbonic maceration is a process utilized in winemaking. Uh, what's interesting is with grapes, you go through a fermentation process, but with coffee, you do as well. So you've heard of sun-dried coffees, and in this case, they go through the fermentation process to give that seed of the coffee berry a little extra pop. And so that's what we're experiencing with this carbonic macerated Tanzanian. We're going to be trying it out on espresso. The roaster of this is Mosaic. Uh, it's a coffee company owned by John Ferguson. Uh, we've known John uh, for about 10 years now. He's a local roaster here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, he works for Arbor Day and he is the coffee quality specialist there. So uh, he's a real cool guy, very nice, and sent us over this bag. He's like, hey, check this out. And I said, that's a perfect excuse to, to get me started on a, a YouTube series. So great, thank you, John. Uh, we're gonna throw this inside the hopper. We're gonna dial it in, check it out, see how it tastes. Alrighty, welcome to the espresso machine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. A uh, few things to know, we've loaded up the coffee into our hopper, which is inside our grinder. And we're going to be grinding the coffee into our portafilter right here. And then inside our portafilters, there's the basket there. We're using a traditional double shot basket, nothing too crazy. And we're going to grind it into there. We're going to weigh it in grams, and that's going to be our grams in. We're going to time it with seconds to see how long the shot pulls for. And then we're gonna weigh this cup uh, with the grinder pulling into the cup as well, and that will be our grams out. All right, let's get started. We are at 20.8 grams in. There's our coffee into our portafilter. So starting off right away, we're at six seconds, seven seconds, we're just now seeing the espresso drop into the cup. Right away I can tell that we're going to need to adjust the coffee a little bit. Um, we may start off by putting in less coffee, so maybe let's sit at 17 or 18 grams in, and then we'll go from there. But we'll see how this first shot comes out. Coming up on 30 seconds, we're coming up at 10 grams in. Obviously not uh, where we want to be in that range. So. All right, let's go ahead and try this second shot here. All right, so again, um, we were sitting at about 20 grams in. I think this time we try for 17, 18 grams in. So I'm just gonna adjust my grinder here and we'll see what we get weighed out. Okay, so that's coming out to being 18 on the dot. So right now we're sitting at about five, six, seven seconds at the drop. So seven to 10 seconds, we're looking at a drop. Still a little late on that. I think with this machine, most of the good coffee I've noticed has been dropping around five seconds. I think that's what we're gonna be aiming for with our next pull. But we'll see how this turns out. We're at about 27 seconds and 20 grams in. And we'll cut that at 32. With about 30 grams out, with about 32 seconds, I think that we're kind of in the position to start uh, tasting. So let's give this one a taste. Wow. Not too bad. Let's see if we can get that shot of the crema there. Um, Crema's looking pretty good. It's got a nice little hold to it. It's a little weak. I think what we can be looking for, maybe moving a little bit uh, 
little touch more coarse with a little bit more coffee in there. But so far, right away, we're kind of getting some of that stone fruit flavor. Um, kind of a, almost a grapefruity essence. It's definitely got a, a really rich chocolatey note to it. And I want to pull out a little bit more sweetness. Right now we're just getting a lot of that rich kind of bitter cocoa essence to it, which can kind of come come through in, in espressos. But it, the good news is I think that shot is relatively servable. So I think we're actually pretty close. So we're just gonna make a few modifications to this espresso. So as suspected, as you adjust a grinder, um, Sometimes what happens is you move a little, when you move the grinder a little more coarse, um, you can get uh, a little bit more coffee out of your out of your grind. So uh, we're sitting at 18 and a half grams out. And normally what you wanna do when you're dialing in coffee is keep your variables consistent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out a half a gram of coffee. See if that's it right there. A little bit more out of there. Okay, we are at 18 now. So again, we went a little, a little bit more coarse. We are at 18 grams. All right, we've already purged our group head. our timer again one more time here. and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so again, seven second drop. Not much has changed. We are at 20 seconds and 10 grams in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at 28 seconds. And we're finishing at 27 and a half grams out. So actually not too bad, again, servable range. I'm gonna make one adjustment to the lighting here real quick. Just bring a little bit more light in. Ah, that's better. Okay. Sorry about that. We've got a little bit more light in here. And again, what we're gonna look at here is just looking at this crema. And it's a little bit weaker of a crema wood. It's not necessarily bad. Crema doesn't necessarily show a sign of like really good coffee. It's just more, it's more fresh, it's more bright. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm. Wow, okay, really interesting. As we took the coffee a little bit more coarse, we added a little bit more coffee in, we're getting much more bright, smooth, almost citrus-esque flavors in there, almost like a lemony influence, like a lemon zesty influence, like a lime, lemon lime zesty influence, but we're still maintaining that kind of raspberry, chocolatey influence in that as well. So. It's a, it's a really cool espresso. What I wanna do is I wanna pull one more shot because I think a little touch of milk in there, it'll pull really nice. Mm. So again, to recap, uh, a Tanzanian carbonic macerated coffee uh, roasted by Mosaic here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Definitely go check it out. The link is in the description for uh, the shop if you wanna check out that coffee or any of the other coffees that John roasts. Great coffee. For those who are looking for something that's a little bit more heavier, a much more darker tobacco influenced coffee, not probably the one that you'd lean towards, but if you want something that's gonna be fun to play with, definitely gonna be poured great over a pour over, over the espresso machine. It's a fun little coffee and check it out. Uh, and if you guys like um, videos like this, where we talk about some coffee, we make some coffee and do some uh, different stuff with coffee, uh, consider subscribing, liking the video and let me know um, you know, maybe some coffees that you'd like to see in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.